Now it's my pleasure to present the current superintendent of public instruction, man who was in the state assembly, man who was in the state senate, an educator all of his life, a fierce fighter for public, public education, Tom Torlakson. Good afternoon, Democrats. Are you revved up and ready? Thank you for fighting for our public schools. We Democrats have been leading the way. And John Burton, thank you for your friendship, great friendship over many, many years, and for your being such a terrific leader during these tumultuous times. Thank you, Democrats, for doing the hard work in the last elections, the phone calls, the doors knocked, leading to the strong passage of Propositions 51, 55, and 58. 51 is bringing us $9 billion for school renovations and new schools. Do we like that? And Prop 55 continues to invest on an ongoing basis $5 billion. And what do we think about Prop 58? We've come a long way from 227. Prop 58 passed, passed by 73%. Californians want to join the global economy. They want to recognize we're part of a world. And parents want to see their kids in two languages, no, proficient in two languages. And also, let's not forget that the voters believed in what we're doing in the classrooms of California by also saying yes to 165 local ballot. 75% of those measures passed, bringing $16 billion to help our schools. California voters said yes to invest, led by Democrats. Thanks to your wonderful work here, these investments will continue the momentum that has led to a record high graduation rates, higher academic achievement, reduced class sizes, and return of classes in the arts and science and civics and career technical education. Do we like that? And don't we want to see more arts, music, drama, and dance in our schools? Let me repeat what I said just a minute ago. We are at the highest ever graduation rate, 83%. We achieved that this year, thanks to all of you and to the wonderful people we have, our professionals working in our schools. We also know that career technical education, those students are graduating at 95 to 100%. And wisely, we've invested $2 billion in bringing back vocational education in California. But even with that, we know we have much work to do to close the pernicious and persistent achievement gap and bring statewide grad rates to 95%. Thanks for helping California lead the nation in resisting the Trump administration's unacceptable and atrocious attacks on our students and our public schools. We join together, stand on common ground, strongly disagreeing with President Trump's immigration policies and frightening rhetoric. That's why right after the November elections, I asked our school districts to declare their schools to be safe havens. In California, we welcome all students and their parents, whether documented or not. We know they're going to contribute to a brighter future for our state. One third of our California students, over two million, are now in safe haven school districts. We will protect, we will protect students from bullying and racial discrimination. We will protect students' personal information. We will work to see that every student, every child has their dreams come true. And we will not, we will not become an arm of ice. Our schools will not be arms of ice. And what do we say about diversity? We say diversity is California's strength. We do not just welcome diversity, we celebrate diversity. And you have my commitment that California will continue to lead the opposition to resist the terrible Trump proposals to cut education spending and to privatize our public schools. For instance, what do we think of the president's proposal to bring a voucher system into our state of California? Heck no. 
Californians have said loudly and clearly time and again, we do not want vouchers. So will you join me in this fight to protect all our students and to keep our public schools public? Yes, you're gonna join? Our schools, our California positive momentum is being led by our teachers, our school teams, our teachers, our classified, let's hear it for the classified, the administrative staff, our school board members, and parents. Let's be the team that resists while protecting and advancing progress. Finally, I look out and I see so many friends in inside and outside of education, but we're all on that same team. Let's have our teachers stand up and thank them for their valiant work day in and day out. The teachers of California. And let's stay standing and let's have the classified stand and be recognized also. And now, the administrators and school board members. And last but not least, please stand up, our parents, our parents and grandparents. And reach out to someone next to you and thank them for being strong supporters for public schools in California, open to all, with a quality education for all. Thank you, Democrats.